Hi, welcome to our house final art session. I want to give a thank you to Andy and Ricard for completing the Rising Sun artwork. You guys did a great job. And I want to say hello to Elijah, Joshua, Vanessa, Andy, Jessica, Maya, Ilana, Eli, Benny, and Ricard. I hope you guys have had a great day. But today we're going to do a very brief meditation. I want you to focus on the, the rain that you hear in the background and relax your mind. And I think there's thunder too. So close your eyes and envision being outside, hearing the rain, but in a safe, self-sheltered place and the thunder in the background. And I want you to concentrate on your breathing. You want to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in to breathe out. going to get all the tension from your neck, your shoulder, and you're going to just have your mind open to creative energy. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. And take two more good breaths. Deep inhale, exhale, and another deep inhale, and exhale. And I want to again say hi and welcome back. This is going to be our final art session, and we're going to do something very simple. We're going to do what we call a deck with the, um, what do you call it, the grass that you usually find near the water, and the sun and the birds. So we can envision ourselves in the summer, maybe fishing at the end of the deck, or if you can swim and you're a good swimmer, maybe jumping off the deck to get a nice cool swim. So. What you're going to have is your paper and a pencil and a simple marker. Not much to do. It's going to be very easy. Okay, how we start this is I want you to just do a very small line in the middle of the paper like such. Just a little, and then we're going to do a line that's going to be on an angle, as such. And then we're going to have another line that's also going to be on an angle. And I'm going to darken it so you can see that line a little better. And then you do another line. Darken this line so you can see a lot better. And you know a deck has a board so you'll Maybe do another line parallel as such. And another one. Do 
this way. It gives the illusion. And then have it meet at the end of the deck. And then I just want you to start drawing a series of lines which are your boards down from the deck. Not, as you notice, I'm doing it in between in the first line, not the If you can see me drawing the lines, and just continue to go down. Okay, you notice that um, I darken the lines so that you guys can be able to see. But your picture is going to basically look like this. I have it upside down. So you can see the perspective. You're looking, looking forward towards the wharf. And now we're going to draw a line. Uh, about... A fourth from the top of the the paper you can see and with that if you can find just a small um, I have a hand sanitizer <laughs> just a small little um, jar container bottle because what you're gonna do is you're not going to do a large circle. You just need just a small one to give the feeling that it's a sun. And you're just doing a partial amount. See? And now I want you to darken that line just to the point of where the sun is as well as that line. See, there we go. Now let's start with the grass. The grass is going to be relatively easy. I just want you to, I think we did grass in the very beginning of when we had class back in the fall. Just series of lines. I do like these. And it can be long and could be short. You just want to and have it running along the side of the wharf. Now you want it to be full in the at the end of the page, as you can see here. And then you're going to have very little towards the end because now you're starting to get close to the water. You know, like a marsh area when you're at the wharf. So this is what you guys might be doing within this, during the summer, is being near the water, near your home, not near your home, but, you know, maybe the family is going to take a little short trip somewhere towards New London, Connecticut. They have a lot of nice little wharfs over there, water where if you get the opportunity to go fishing, sometimes you're near water, New Haven. And I just want you to balance that water, um, the marsh area with the grass. Okay. Now see, I kind of filled it out so you can see where we are now. I have the grass down here at the bottom. And this is what we call something like perspective drawing. 
in the sense that you it's very small at the at the end of the wharf and then you graduate it to make it wider and then you just put grass grass can be fancy I'm not doing what you call extremely fancy I'm just giving you the the feeling that that's grass on the sides see now let's work on the Sun we have what we call the horizon here and then just gradually start what we call shadowing lightly go around the Sun to give the feeling of a rays see and you do it on the other side just so lightly and you find that artists is sometimes use their finger to smudge it to give you that shadowing effect just so lightly and when you see sun you see a reflection so let's do a reflection in the water and all it is is just a series of jagged lines as such. See? Doesn't have to be dark ever so lightly. It might be part there. And then the reflection up top. Now, the part that's the the beginning that I want you to do is now we're going to have birds flying in the sun, near the sun. Not in the sun, but near the sun. And birds, I'm sure you've done birds many times, are a series of arches. And if you want to be fancy, like right in the sun, I'm going to have a bird and the wings. It's, it's going to be a black bird. And you have birds all over. Then you have a bird flying up into the sky. Is that you see? You just and you darken it and then you give this shadowing so this is what we're going to do and maybe another bird way up in the sky you know it's there The summer, when you got your horizon, you got your sun, and you show reflection of the shadows, and the birds up in the sky. I want you to give it a try. I would love to see everybody's um, picture this time, since this is the end of our session. And I want to wish everybody a safe and an enjoyable summer. So you guys be safe and you're going into the sixth grade. Oh my God, middle school. Congratulations. You'll do well and you'll learn a lot. So be safe. Take care.